Hi, this is Tamara Rubin, Let's Save Mama, Let's Save Mama.com. Today we're using the Reactive Agent Home Test Kit to test consumer goods for lead. We are doing this, we've so far we've tested one, two, three, four, five, I don't know, six, seven items today. And we're doing this to show you that not all consumer goods will test positive for lead, even if they have lead, using the Reactive Agent Home Test Kit. Only some high lead items will test positive using the Reactive Agent Home Test Kit. So this is a Moscow Mule mug, and I basically say don't use these, they're really toxic. I have found um, very few that were not. The interesting thing is this is a brass handle. The brass handle is 43,400 parts per million lead. And then most important is we've got a high lead, like basically a solid lead solder point right here. Can you see the lead solder right there? Mm -hmm. So um, this will wear off onto your hands when you t if you touch it, the lead there. This will also wear off onto your hands, especially if you wash it and it deteriorates over time. There might have been a lacquer on it when it was new. This is from 2017. It's from some conference or something, Roth conference um wait, can i get a zoom in on the uh there does it have the year right there yeah 2017 it says uh wait 12 15 and then 2017 yeah so just to be clear this is a 2017 mug so it's only seven years old the brass on the handle is 43,400 parts per million lead, unsafe level of lead. And then there's basically a solid lead or lead um solder point the other thing i can show that the the point get a good uh there Okay, and that's Avi, my son, taking the video for me. The interesting thing to know about this, or this is kind of an exception or a different thing than, than the other ones, uh, items we've tested. Not that, um, not that this isn't a problem with Moscow mule mugs across the board, it is. But whenever something is made for a conference as a promotional item, no matter what that item is, it can test positive for high levels of lead. It can be unsafe because it's a promotional item. It's not considered a foodware item. It's not being sold, it's being given away. So always be suspicious about anything you might get at a conference as a giveaway, um, as it's possible that it's painted with lead paint. And does that apply to just things in general that are for, given away for free? Yeah, anything given away for free as a promotional item hasn't likely gone through the regulatory hurdles necessary to make sure that it's safe for use by humans. And especially probably hasn't gone through the hurdles to make sure it's safe for use by children. So on this, we're gonna test um, so the, the handle and we're gonna test right here at the solder point using the reactive agent kit. So uh, we'll turn off the light so we get a better uh, response. Um, so when we shine the light on it, we see blue. That doesn't mean anything. It's just the blue specks of the... Um, and there's also reflecting of the, the light. Yeah, there's also reflection. Um, so first, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and get the uh, Lumetallic spray um, right there on the brass only. Um, so I didn't spray it. And I'm trying to get the light only on the brass. So we know this is 43,000 parts per million lead. Oh, look, it did turn. Can you see the glowing? I see it. Uh, I'm just trying to get it in focus. Oh, wait, can you stop moving it? Yeah, it's hard to see. It might be that there's lead residue from the solder there too. Can you see it now or not? It's kind of hard to get it in focus. But okay, oh, there's a speck right there. Do you see that? Wait the a moment. Um, mm-hmm. Can you see it? Yeah, it's kind of faint, but I at least can okay. see some. Okay, so while we know that this is 43,000 parts per million lead, we're barely getting a little green glow there, barely. And it's very possible that the reason we're getting a green glow is because, now, did you see that? Mm -hmm. I'm going to spray directly on that so you can get a good, is some of this lead from the solder point, and we'll do all of them. Um, Wait, is, uh, there we go, I'm going to focus. So you can see, yeah, I bet you that the lead that's glowing on this handle is lead that wore off from this point right here. It's probably not lead from, even though the lead, the, there is lead in this, um, in the brass, I bet you it's this lead right here from the solder joint wearing off onto the handle because it's kind of in a fingerprint smudge. You see that really mm -hmm. well? Mm -hmm. I wanted to get, do this one again. It's like so bright. Mm -hmm. So basically, um, Okay, I'll hold that again. You turn off, turn on the light again. And we've been turning the light off so we get a better glow, but let's see if we can see the, can you see the glow with the light on still? Mm -hmm. Even, so some of these are, that, yeah. 
So, so we know that this is probably about 600,000 parts per million lead mm -hmm. and the handle is 43,000 and the, because we weren't getting a glow on the, like the main part of the handle, just near to the solder joints, that's the lead from the solder joints migrating onto the handle most likely. And that's a really good example of why this is so incredibly toxic. Because what are you doing when you're holding this mug? You're holding the mug, you're drinking from it, and then you're putting the mug down and you're eating your tortilla chips and licking the salt off your fingers. That's the kind of microtransference of lead from normal hand-to-mouth activity that can poison humans. And that's what we're trying to protect you from. And does the drinking surface itself have uh, any contaminants or toxicants? Uh, on this particular one, it's copper. There are some that are lined with a grayer metal that often ha can have tin, which, which is contaminated with cadmium or antimony or even lead, depending on the age. Um, but again, because it's a promotional item, it wasn't tested for leaching most likely, but also leaching when it is done is never done on the exterior of a vessel. Leach testing is only done on the um, interior of the vessel. So there's a potential for lead exposure, but no one's keeping an eye out for you to protect you on this. And there's also, of course, if you put that in a washing machine, a uh, dishwasher. If you put it in the dishwasher or even in the sink, these um, the micro particulate lead from this handle is going to get all over your kitchen and you aren't going to see it. Uh, it's an invisible amount of lead that it takes to poison a human, literally invisible. And um, one thing, I did a video about that, and I'll put the video link in the comments here, but basically um, one eighth of a sugar packet worth of lead dust is enough to contaminate a football field to a level that is harmful to humans. So please uh, take a look at the other videos posted today. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow uh, Lead Safe Mama on Instagram as well. And you will see a bunch of other videos we did Today we're showing the types of consumer goods that will test positive using the Reactive Agent Home Test Kit, but also several high lead items that have tested positive using XRF technology, but that won't test positive using a Reactive Agent Home Test Kit. So I have, I have hundreds of items, thousands of items here, uh, and we'll try and do some more videos later. Check these out, and again, subscribe to the Lead Safe Mama YouTube channel. Thanks for being here. Tam Rubin, leadsafemama.com, tamrubin.com.